Hi everyone, today we are standing in the shadows of love. I see there are plenty of shadows in this setup. It's not the greatest, but we're just going to roll with it. Today we are unboxing the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 360. That's a little bit of a mouthful. Anyway, just to be clear, this is the plain regular flavor 360, not the pro version that's been floating around for a few weeks. Uh, this one is... Whew, it's hot off the press. It has just arrived at our doorstep as a pre-order, so they are just releasing it now. Now, as with the Pro model, this features Intel's brand new Alder Lake uh, 12th generation processor. It's been designed as an answer to Apple's incredible M1 processor that shocked the computing world a couple of years ago. It just changed everything. It, uh, yeah. Uh, it has been a revolution in power and efficiency. So this Alder Lake features Intel's new big look little architecture which offers a combination of power cores for heavy computing tasks as well as ultra efficient low power light cores efficiency cores uh, for maximum battery life. The previous processors had iterative improvements so they are offering gradual steps in uh, performance uh, with each generation. This one over here is a paradigm shift and it's a good place to jump in if you have an old laptop and you want to upgrade it and, uh, you know, uh, step into the future. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, open it up and see how it looks inside. So, as you admire my awesome knifing skills, we're going to open Pandora's box and see what's inside. I don't think I want to show you this. This is a little bit of an invoice. So, thank you for your order. You're most welcome. So, we got a little bit of study material in here. It's great how they are now moving towards eco packing, so, less plastics in the world. That's it. That's awesome. So, let's get this out of the way. Some corrugated hard uh, paper. This is really unlike anything I've seen before. Oh, that's it. There's a smaller box inside of here. Okay, let's put that in the recycle. Okay, Galaxy Book 2. If seal is broken, do not accept. Seal inspected, we're good to break it. So, let's get in there. And we probably have to lower this down. Then we can open it. All right, what do we have here? We have what looks like a USB cord. That's a USB cord, very like a smartphone charger cord. And we have over here what looks like a smartphone charger uh, power brick. This is much smaller than anything I've ever seen before for a laptop. And it doesn't seem to have an opening. So we're going to get to that. Right, let's put that aside. So while um, Samsung opened up the pre orders a couple of weeks ago, and for the promotion, they threw in a 24 inch CRG5 gaming monitor with this laptop. Uh, and it kind of seems as if with Samsung promotions, they tend to give away stuff that are overflowing in the inventory. So, you know, uh, why a gaming monitor to pair with this ultra portable uh, notebook? Anyway, I'm not one to look a gift gaming monitor in, my, in the mouth. So, this is it over here. Curve gaming monitor. 
we'll open that another day. So now, what else do we have in here? We have some information. Package contents, so let's look at package contents, computer, adapter, and USB cable. And a quick start guide. Alright, this is very light. We've got a box over here, but it's just padding, nothing in there for these ones. So, out of the way we go. Okay, your usual nice uh, cloth case that encases the laptop. And here it is. This is a beautiful machine. And this one is graphite. It's very light and very thin. And this is definitely a quality finish. So let's have a look around the laptop. Uh, the laptop weighs around 2.5 pounds. That's uh, 2.56 pounds to be exact. And this is a premium finish. In this case, this is graphite to provide that more professional look. Uh, there's also a silver option. Uh, I like this over the last generation's polarizing, like they had a mystic blue. And this is not your average graphite. This is kind of like slate graphite. I'm liking it a lot. Anyway, let's have a look around the laptop. Uh, it has a beautiful 13.3 inch high definition monitor and this is a super AMOLED screen. Uh, the quality of OLED TV is now on your laptop and on top of that OLED is a great improvement on power consumption because it powers just the pixels that needed to be lighted up. So unlike a, a traditional LED screen that powers the entire screen and then the LED portion mask masks the light to form the dark and the light spots. This one OLED powers every individual single pack pixel and that greatly re reduces the uh, power consumption and that's why uh, most of the modern premium smartphones use OLED. And it's party trick. It opens, opens, opens into a tablet. So that's where the 360 moniker comes from. So the keyboard is very tactile, very pleasant to use, and this is a backlit keyboard. We have a fingerprint reader somewhere, I think. I think it's this one over here at the top corner, and that is a relief unlike the Pro model that has it right here, the shift key, you know, ease up half of the shift key, which is what you don't want. As for the ports, on the left, this is going to be harder to see. We have a full Thunderbolt 4 port over here. That's USB-C Thunderbolt 4. We have a regular USB-C port over here and the HDMI. And the beauty of the Thunderbolt port is that you can have just one cable, one USB-C cable coming from your docking station into the laptop. And that one cable can supply your power it can send graphics, keyboard, uh, storage, input and output to your docking device. So that's great. You just come into your docking station, plug in your one cable and you're good to go. And the step after this into the future is going completely wireless. And Samsung with this laptop have actually dipped their toe into this, into that. We're going to explain that later. However, if you don't want to dock this into a docking station, you can always plug your free monitor. Did you get one? You did? <laughs> All right, you can connect your monitor directly into the HDMI port. So now turning to the right side of the laptop, the I.O., we have a micro SD uh, slot over here. And of all graces, we have a traditional headset jack. So your headphone jack over there that uh, uh, you can use for your headphone and mic and the old USB port over here. So that is a great complement of uh, I.O. for your laptop. Uh, there is really nothing that you should really want for 
apart from these for a thin and light laptop like this. And as you notice, with these USB-C and Thunderbolt ports, this is what it uses for power. So unlike the previous uh, Flex 2 Alpha, which uses one of those proprietary uh, power uh, cables, you can use a suitable USB-C power supply and that's what this is. That is very convenient, so thanks Samsung for that. So more things to know, as we mentioned, this screen is a AMOLED screen and it is HD resolution, that means it's 1920 by 1080p. So that means it's not your super high uh, resolution screen. However, that is what you usually get for this type of budget laptop. You don't really get, you know, Quad HD or 4K. So that's a very suitable resolution for this. And it's more than good enough for a small pen and light laptop like this. It has a 720p webcam over here. And unfortunately, it doesn't have a physical shutter where you can block off the uh, webcam, which is a shame. But then with such a thin and light laptop, you don't really have the space for it. And I think I spot some mic pinholes over here as well. Now that shutter, the physical shutter, is a little bit of a concern because I have a Lenovo laptop and even though I've blocked it, the Lenovo app keeps trying to access that webcam. So I wonder what it's really trying to do. Hopefully this one's a little bit better behaved. And as you'll see over here, this, this laptop is EVO certified. So Intel certifies it to perform to a minimum standard that they check. So that's a very good reassurance of performance. So other than that, for connectivity, it has Wi-Fi 6E and it also has Bluetooth 5.1. And the graphics are handled by Intel's very capable Aries XE graphics. So this regular version of the Book 360 uses Intel's U line of Alder Lake processors, which are optimized for efficiency. The Pro versions use the P, which are more power focused. So this particular one has the upgraded i7 processor, that's the i7-1255U processor and it comes with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig hard drive, solid state hard drive. Uh, the base version you can get an i5 with a 1235U processor, 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 uh, gig hard disk, hard drive. Do they call them disks anymore? I wonder. Okay, let's have a closer look at the power supply. So we have a decent length cable. And we're going to make another attempt to free this power brick out of its bag. And there we have it. So white to camouflage into your white walls. And I believe this one goes into, it indicates that this is a Thunderbolt. You might be able to power the laptop from either USB-C port, so we'd need to verify that. I know that my Lenovo laptop is able to do that, even though one port is just, just one port is Thunderbolt. Anyway, that is very convenient to have. So Samsung is trying to become the Apple of Android and uh, Intel. Uh, they offer great connectivity between their devices. So, for example, if you have a uh, Samsung phone or a Samsung watch or Samsung tablet, that kind of thing. The Samsung S8 can connect wirelessly to this laptop and act as a, se a secondary display to it. Uh, there are apps over here that easily pair up with your phone and tablet so that you can exchange data easily between the devices. So they're trying to make it very friendly and easier to use. You'd notice that your Samsung phone has bright, easy to understand icons just like your Apple iPhone. So they're making a good stab at it. They've also included the Bixby Assistant. You know, they're trying to stuff all these uh, smart assistants in these laptops so they can harvest data from those suckers out there. So time to power it on and see what comes up. I think this is the power button. Stand back.
Does that give us power? I don't see signs of any life, so we're going to try. Oh, we, we do have power. My bad. On the top you can see the Samsung logo. It's a very clean, sleek design. It's a kind of monolithic design. And on the bottom we have a very fine texture over here. I don't think it's a grill. These holes are too fine. Plus some small raised legs over here. I wonder what this is. Might be something to do with the Wi-Fi. And I think this is polycarbonate on this end, and this is probably metal over here. Anyway, it's very well executed. Uh, from what I can see from a rough glance, the function keys are, you know, nothing special over there. We have power button, you know, volume buttons over here, mute, plus a bunch of other things, brightness, there's uh, settings over there. Fairly standard for a laptop this size. You can see a blue light over here as it powers on. And I believe you can see the backlit keyboard. A little harder to see. Let's bring it closer. So I believe what's going to happen from here is your regular Samsung laptop setup. So I'm going to give this laptop to its owner and uh, we're going to catch it when it's pretty much set up. So as you can see I've been testing this with greasy food and the cover does pick up the oily stains. Uh, so that's going to be unfortunate. So what does the Pro model offer over this regular 360 Joe model. Well, the first thing is it substitutes this USB port for a USB-C port. Uh, it also loses the HDMI port. Um, and the camera for the Pro is a HD model, so it's 1080p, whereas this is a 720p uh, camera. Uh, in addition to that, the guts of the PC, the Pro model uses the processors, the performance processors, and I believe the Pro model goes up to 2.1 GHz, whereas this one I think goes up to 1.7 for the i7 version. And the Pro model also offers a 15.6 uh, uh, version. And here probably are a couple of things. I'm not sure whether the Pro model has the headphone jack. I think it omits that. Anyway, that's all I can think of at the moment. I did try this screen that, uh, oh, one more thing, the Pro model comes with an S Pen, whereas this model doesn't have the S Pen, so that's one additional thing that you get. If this video has been useful to you, please give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and we will see you on Alder Lake. Happy computing! Not recyclable.